Hi there, welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Today we are going to change things a, a bit and we are going to go over how to make an iPad application. Uh, it's going to be a master detail application. I'm going to explain what that is in a moment. So let's go to Xcode, file new project, but this time we're going to choose master detail app. Let's name it Master Detail Example. Click next. Oh, before that, make sure the device is iPad and not iPhone. Click next and create it. Now, the first thing we are going to do is go to the main storyboard and notice how there's a bunch of stuff already made for us because we selected Master Detail application. So this is navigation this is the navigation controller is basically just going to tell our app where to go so we don't really interact with it. This is our detail our master detail and basically controls the app it's going to be a table on the side of our screen when it's uh, on landscape you can see this in your email application in iPad and this is going to be the detail view this is going to contain whatever the, mm, the master tells it to I think the best way to explain this concept is to go through, through the example so let's just do that let's go ahead and change this name from master to favorite search engines let's make it cap and now we're going to go to the we're going to go here to the master view controller dot h file and we are you can see them here if you can't read them I didn't know where they am already so in here we're going to create two arrays to populate uh, our table in here we did it's going to be the same as we did in the table views tutorial so this shouldn't be anything new property non-atomic retain ns array engine names and one more And oops, engine addresses. All right. Now we have to go to the view did load method in the implementation file and initialize them. So just go here, and we are going to say engine names equals nsarray alloc init with objects and we're going to say yahoo google and bing why not make sure the nail stays there and close it now engine addresses it's going to be basically the same Ray, oh, sorry for that. And it's there we go. Ray a lock in it. Can't type today either. Uh, this is going to be HTTP Yahoo.com. Next one will be Google HTTP. Oops, Google.com, and finally, Bing. And now, close it there. Alright, now we have to modify our table 
so it has as many rows and sections as we want to so number of sections in table view is going to be one you don't need to change that but in number of rows in section it's going to be engine names or addresses it doesn't matter since, since both are going to be the same number the count finally we have to go to the cell for row at index, at index path in here and change one little thing so it sets the text of the table to what we want so cell so the text label or text engine names index path dot row that should do it and finally just return cell then the next thing we are going to do is go to the storyboard here go to here detail view content goes here select it select here and delete it and we are going to go to the object library and drag a web view so we can display our engine Just drop it there in here make sure it says scales page to, to fit so the web page sort of fits the size of our screen and make sure that this is displaying the content of the detail view controller see don't touch anything if it's like that now we're going to go to the assist open up the assistant editor and create oh, well go to the detail view controller dot h and create an instance of the web view right here uh, view close the assistant editor now go to the implementation file in the detail view controller oh sorry no, in the master view controller and we are going to find let's select robot in the index path which is about here let's delete this since we don't read it and here we are delete this and we are going to type n string url string is going to be equal to engine addresses object at index index path dot row we did something similar the last time but now we need to create an ns url like that we're going to name it url ns and now we initialize it you are all with string URL string once we have the URL we need to make a request so NS URL request request is going to be equal to NS oops sorry for that URL request request with URL, URL. See, basically, we're just creating one variable after another and using them. Uh, finally, self .detail view controller dot web. Whoops, web view scales page to fit equals. Yes, this is. Just doing the same with it in there, but this way I can show you how to do it in code. And self dot detail view controller dot web view load request request. This is it. So let's go ahead and try it. We're going to select iPad 
Uh, let's just go with normal iPad because Retina will be just too big for our screen because I don't have a Retina display here so it would be bigger than the screen and it would look a bit odd. So let's just go with a regular iPad resolution. And here it is, here's the master, but first of all go to hardware, rotate left. And we can see if we click here in Yahoo, we have to give it some time and it loads the Yahoo page. We can try with Google, with Bing, they work. It's just a window of a, of like Safari of any of any web page. If you turn it around, rotate it right, and you have it like this, so you don't have the master in there. That's because it's hidden. It's right here. You can still use it the same way, and if you click outside of it, it will hide again. This is called a popover, and it's already implemented for us when we select the master detail application. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time.